Uh, client. Oh, it was Infinity. Okay, that makes more sense. Location. It's the mine. Target. Reusion. Rothite shipment. So they were here for our shipment. Instructions. Retrieve Rothite shipment being prepared for Reusion Industries. Redirect shipment to the clinic. Attention, Dr. Kendrick Lane. Variant system. pre star collective. Leave no witness. So they did come through and kill everybody. Between hiring ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Ten imaging was the most of liar won't get suspicious. Got it. Good. Keeping Olaru in the dark is the key to taking her down. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. Circle, the internal neural lamp is ready if you want to send down the candidates. I hope you're ready for this. Hello everybody, Nutta27 here. Welcome back to Starfield. And we are still working with Ryujin. We are getting closer to taking down Infinity. And we need to get the neuro amp installed. Well, I, I knew I was alive. I don't know why the robot had to tell me that. Good to see you again. Ah, here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Excited to be part of it. Does it tell me what I'm going to do? Yeah, what exactly does it do? The internal neural amp is basically the next leap in our line of influential amplifiers. Which it makes me persuade better. For a less dominant target, meaning you can heavily influence another person's thoughts and actions. Oh. Sounds almost like my control, yeah. Hey. Let's not get carried away there. That terminology is a bit heavy-handed. So, are you ready to get started? I guess so. So I'm basically just better at persuasion. I, that's what it sounds like. Yes. I'm totally I down for that. A willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards. Provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. I'm sure it's going to be okay. Of course. We've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Cool. Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. Alright, I get to get put under. You get a nice nap. I did this in real life once. I woke up missing a sock. I don't know how that happened. I'm still confused about that to this day. That that made no sense to me. But, nap time. Why am I looking right. at my adorn fan? He's <laughs> just started. there watching me. Good night, doctor. I guess we did it. Is my adoring fan still there? I can't look over. Well, well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. Talk to Vina. He is still there. He stood there for like three to four hours just watching them do the surgery. This unit is not suited for addressing mental health concerns. Hey there. Okay. <laughs> Good for you, robot. So, how are you feeling? You look good? I feel fine. Everything seems to be the same. That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary. So be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Alright, tech sounds like it still uses some work. There go my plans for life blog minion. The effects tech, yeah, how long will it last? Let's just say it varies based on the user. Some people have greater mental capabilities than others, which would increase the duration. Okay, so I can use it in combat? Like, if I find, like, a low-level enemy, I can just have him, like, fight for me? Great. Now, let's test this sucker out. DeMarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. Alright, let's see what he can do. 
That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. That's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. All right, so it can be used in combat. See, I thought it was just like for persuasion, but I guess it's a little bit more than that. Uh, where is he? Oh. Use manipulation on Demarcus to find a way to open the door. Okay. Press LB to open your scanner and target the person you want to manipulate. Press A to bring up your social skills and select manipulation. Once a person has been manipulated, it's like the object or person you want them to interact with. Okay, so open up my menu. Social skills, manipulation. Okay, so scanner. Oh. Diplomacy, instigation, intimidation, and manipulation are all social skills that you can activate while your scanner is up. I didn't even know I had those. Hover your cursor over the target and press A to bring up your social skills. Select like which skill you want to use with the D-pad. If you fail a social skill, your target will be immune to all future social skill attempts. Alright, so social. So manipulation is the only one I have. 90% for 30 seconds. Alright, activate. And we got him. Where, where are you? Okay. So what do you want me to do? Open the door? What door? That door? Open it. This character can't do that. What? You, you told me that's what I needed him to do. How do I do it then? Wait, did I, did I, did I still have him? Okay, I still have him. Manipulation, I think. I don't know. He keeps walking under me. I can't see him. Manipulation attempt failed. What? Did I just mess it up? I, I don't know if I did it or not. <laughs> I'm so confused. Activate. Okay, there we go. I probably... Do I, okay, I need him to go there to the control. Cool. So th this is basically mind control. Can I get that open there? He's taking his time, but he's doing it. What is that? Oh, do, do we need that? Oh, I need. Oh, I need that. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait. Did you, did you do it? No. Okay, hang on. All right. Grab that. That's test room key card. Okay. Or don't stare at me while you do it, you creep. God, he, I, I just make it another annoying fan. Alright, he got it. So then, now go open the door. Uh, you used to go to the controller? Okay, unlock. Now I get it. Unlock with test room key card. Cool. Wait for Vina and Demarcus. I can mind control people. That is awesome. Busy. Busy doing what? Do you, do you need to step outside, sir? Just has to wait for them. What what are we waiting for? Right, step outside. Oh my god. There we go. That was incredible. What was it like? Wow. How to describe it? One week I was excited about seeing how the experiment would go. The next, I had a brief moment of disorientation and figured I must have lost my train of thought. It felt eerily natural. And yes, I admit it, just as you predicted. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. I'll be keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. Talk to Vina. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Uh, it didn't feel like anything at all to me. Yes. Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. I agree. It opens up a lot of possibilities. It does. Very dangerous, too. to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural imp isn't total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete, and Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. 
Alright, go talk to Misako in her office. Right through this way, I knew that. Her office isn't on this floor, is it? Now I gotta take the elevator. Okay, here we are. Oh, wait, doesn't she have a safe in here? She does. I wasn't able to open this last time. I kind of want to. Oh, I can't. Hold on. <laughs> now that I'm able to, I want to rob her. Wait, in my outfit? Oh, I don't have my spacesuit on. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I looked at that. I would have went into a fight and just got, like, destroyed. Which one was... Oh, no. Okay, this is my pack was on. My helmet wasn't on. Good thing I noticed that. Alright. Oh, we're good. Okay. Let's see just what is in this safe here. Oh, we could use that one. Or that one. Well, that works right there. None of the fours work on this one? I, the fours never work on the first one. When this three works, then I might need another three. I don't really see a three in that pattern. Oh, that one. Did that work? No, it doesn't reach. But it can still work on here. That works right there. What other three? Can I maybe move this one so it works? Oh, that works, right? Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, what works on this one? This three can work over here. Uh, what other three? Do I have a three in that pattern? No, I don't. Right, what about the fours? The fours work. And then I see like a two right across. That is, I have that, right? Yeah. There we go, that works. Uh, where was that? There it is. Another one. Okay, this one works there. What about this four? This four. That one works on both. We can use it on this one, I guess. There another four? Or that one? No, that doesn't work? That works there. Is that how I had it? I need on those top two. That doesn't work. What about this one? Okay, that can work there. Now, can I use that other four I just tried? No, because I still don't have that one up top. Hmm. What about this one? Okay, that goes... Oh, wait, now I use this one, right? Yeah, now I do. Alright, and then which ones work here? This one does... Okay, so that can go there, and then you need, like, a two across, which I have that. And there we go. I'm an amp, I don't really want a bunch of credits, I'll definitely take that, and I don't need the knife. Cool. Thanks for your money. Now oh, there are more credits on the table I just saw. Turn on your amp. It's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly... Why you don't steal from Ryujin Industries. Make him wish he never heard of Project Dominion. And wish he shall. Every day. While he rots away in prison. Alright. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A. You gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. That one sounds easier. Um, let me do option B, because I'm not the best at sneaking around. Just My persuasion is high. Don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, you'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavant's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. Um, alright, I can do it. That's what we're counting on. Now. I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials. But Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. 
I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal mirroring. The public will never know Infinity especially stole from Ryujin. Exactly. And what the public doesn't know doesn't hurt them. Alright, so it works for us and there screws them over. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Oh, yeah. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed. It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks. Setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer. So you can force the heating system to fail. If I get them all out, I'll have the whole building to myself. That's good. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. Stealth. Suit or no suit, they'll never know I was there. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. All right, let's do it then. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Uh, what kind of security am I looking at? Can you go over my targets? It's gonna come in handy. Yeah, how for the am I gonna use if I use a false identity? You'll be restricted to the marketing floor. An okay. appointment is not a free pass. That's a start. I can work with the marketing floor. I'm ready. Good luck. And be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the overseer program, and your cover identity. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. That's my name, Skylar Lumen? Alright. So what about all that, like, stealthy stuff I just got? Uh, wait, where is it? Helmet? No, where is it? Oh, it's in apparel, probably? That makes sense. Here we go. So, 25% harder to detect. I guess we'll wear that right now. That'll be helpful. The, the helmet doesn't really do anything. I guess it just goes with the outfit. I, can't, I, I don't really know how I feel about that. It's alright. But if I wear this helmet, can I still wear, like, my actual... Like, this one? Like, how does that work? Oh, I guess it says I'm still wearing this. So, I, I guess I'm wearing both. Alright. Cool. Okay, then let's get out of here. So, we need to go down this way. Alright, are we leaving or are we going to talk to Dalton? Dalton's usually down here. I guess you are going to talk to him, alright. Oh, yeah, I need to give him the program, that's right. You have to program. Uh, yes I do. With pleasure. So, let's take a look. We gotta make sure Lara doesn't screw us over. Why would we have her write the program? Why don't we have someone else do it? Like, literally anybody else. The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. Do you have anything I can steal? Exactly. Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masato was working with Lucas. Oh, he was right. She was going to throw her under. Program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masato for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact. So Alaru can't dispute it. Smart. All right. Now we finally have the evidence we need to prove Olaru's guilt. So 
So Lara was going to frame Asako and use her overseer program to do it. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. All right, travel to New Atlantis. Okay, so they operate out of New Atlantis. I did not even know that. All right, let's head there then. All right, here we are. So we gotta enter. Should we use roof access or check in? All right, well, let's check in since we're using the fake identity. How far away is the place? Is it that far? I don't think it's that far. I mean, it said it was in this district. So it told me to land here. Wait, is it? No, I need to take the train. Why, why did he tell me to land here if it's not in this district? That just doesn't even make any sense. Well, what district is it in? It, it, commercial district. Why? Why why'd the game tell me to go here then? That, that stupid game. Alright, and this is infinity right here. We have two ways, so either the... I don't want to go through the roof, though. Yeah, front desk. So I guess this is it. Cool. Alright, we are going to end off this video because we are out of time. So next video, we're going to break into infinity do everything we need to do and i guess take him down and this this might be the last mission for reunion or maybe one more to like expose laro to the board or something but yeah it seems like we are wrapping up their quest line so yeah that's gonna be the end of this one thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time